A mother of seven, Aisha Ishaku and her six children are survivors of the Boko Haram insurgency. One of my child was kidnapped. He was then at the age of 19 years by then. Her husband died of his injuries trying to save their eldest son. They told his father to stay, don't follow us. Then he said, my son, my son, he's just following that. Then they shoot him in his leg. Aisha moved to a safer area where she shares her house with two other families, perhaps a small price for safety. Every other day she lines up for food rations from this Red Cross center in Maiduguri in northeastern Nigeria. Red Cross has registered at least 7,000 widows here. Amina is among the lucky few who are making a living. Being a widow, it's very difficult to have, some, to have something doing. Find a job? Even to find a job, because no one will stand ahead of you. So you have to have something doing by yourself. You will just find something for yourself to do it. She is a beneficiary of a grant of 200 US dollars from Red Cross and Bono State Widows Association. When I become a widow, sometimes to eat three times is difficult for me. We eat sometimes, we hardly eat two times a day because no money. Before you do this, you do this to children, you do to yourself, their school, their school fees, everything is so hard. For many women who are affected by the violence, finding ways to make an income and feed their families is one of the first steps in helping them rebuild their lives. Still, the Islamist militants remain an ever-present threat. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.